Hello everyone, Potato Gamer Let's Play is bringing you the Stanley Parable. Yes. Now let's begin, shall we? Alright. So, I found this game a while back. I just never really played it. I downloaded it, installed it, everything. I just never got to playing it. Playing it. And, um, so, I guess you're we are now so just watch this is the story of a man named Stanley Stanley worked for a company in a big building where he was employee number 427 employee number 427's job was simple he sat at his desk in room 427 and he pushed buttons on a keyboard orders came to him through a monitor next to his desk telling him what buttons to push how long to push them and in what order this is what employee 427 did every day of every month of every year. And although others might have considered it soul rending, Stanley relished every moment that the orders came in, as though he had been made exactly for this job. And Stanley was happy. Stanley was happy. And then one day something very peculiar happened. Something that would forever would change Stanley. Something Forever. he would never quite forget. Something I would never forget. He had been at his desk for nearly an hour. An hour? When he realized that not one single not order a single had order. arrived on a monitor for what, him to what follow. What am I going to do with my life? No one had showed up to give him instructions. Not even an call instruction. A meeting, or even not a single hi. Never in all his what years at the company on? had this happened. Not this a, not complete not isolation. These years. Something was very clearly wrong. Uh, there's something Shocked, wrong. Frozen solid. Stanley found himself unable to move for the longest I time. Just can't move. But as he came to his wits and regained I'm his senses, he got up from his desk senses. and walked out into the hallway. I'm walking out into the hallway. All right. Stanley decided to go to the staff lounge to check on his Let's go to the staff lounge. Everyone. He never functioned well by himself and constantly needed support and guidance from others. So the thought of total solitude was terrifying to him. Terrifying. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Well, now how do you know that? This was not the correct way to the employee lounge, and Stanley well. knew it perfectly well. So he turned left at the first open door and walked back in the right direction. I don't like the way this looks. I don't like it. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't fired years ago. It is, Maybe actually. Maybe this is why everyone had left. No one wanted to be around someone as bad at listening as him. And since I he was walking either. into the middle of nowhere and thus ruining the entire story, Stanley decided that he would punish himself. Punish so himself. when he came to the elevator and the doors opened, he stepped inside and pushed the button to go up. I'm interested to see what happens if I push up. Hmm. Seems pretty normal, I guess. I like this. Nice light bulb. How you doing, light bulb? Doing good. Good. That's cool. You power box. You and you and light bulb got a nice relationship going. Hmm. All right. Well, I'm going to have to say goodbye. I'm sorry. Alright. Oh. Holy crap. Okay. Um. It almost perplexed Stanley that he had actually gone and stepped into this metal trap. After all, it should have been no surprise that this thing would lead him to his death. But oh, he thought fuck. to himself, this is simply the price to pay for ruining a perfectly good story. Well, yeah, so he I resigned guess. I, and I willingly do like accepted his fate. The inevitable end right. toward which he had Let's spent go. so long stumbling. Farewell, Stanley. Farewell. Are we gonna make it through? Oh. Oh. Farewell, Stanley, cried the narrator as he sent his subject down the conveyor belt and into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body, killing but him I'm okay. instantly. But I'm okay. But 
But I'm alive. I, I'm not dead. I'm actually quite alright. It's a shame, then, that for all his work, it was such a meaningless victory for the narrator. Did he really think he would accomplish anything by murdering this disposable vessel? Nope. Mm. I don't think he'd earn anything. Turn it. Nah. Uh, that's cool. Every possible choice Stanley could make had been designed for him long before he ever set foot here. Hmm. The narrator wanted to kill him. Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start. Oh, that sucks. What? I gotta jump out here. There's no salvation for either of these two, I'm afraid. Oh. The narrator <laughs> had as little power over Stanley as Stanley did over the paths that he walked. Huh. I like that. You know who the but narrator sort of sounds like? This story is not over. It's not? You can still save these two. You can stop the program before they both fail. Before they both Push fail. escape and press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. There's no as long other as you way. move forward, you'll be walking someone else's path. Stop now, and it'll be your only true choice. Whatever you do, choose it. Don't let time choose for you. Don't let time. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that was crazy. Uh, you know who that person sounded like? It sounded like the RPG Minx. Or, um, Minx. I mean, everybody calls her Minx. That, that's obvious. I mean, but that was pretty interesting. I, I gotta say, that was awesome. I like how the second narrator came in and talked about how we had like little to do with our own choices like the narrator had as much powers over me as I did over where I was walking I mean she was kind of right there because he had no power over me but I had no power to where I was walking really I mean he had a little bit of power, but I had a little bit of power to control where I was going, but I would end up in a ending in some way in the end. Which is kind of cool, I guess. Is it just gonna sit here? Uh, I don't know. I guess I, um, this is the simulation of me being crushed. Um, I guess that was pretty interesting. That was a, that was a good first go through. I, I enjoyed, I enjoyed that, that was good, it was really nice, it, it was unique, I have to say that with the whole narrator thing, this game really broke the fourth wall, I mean, crushed it to pieces, man, I mean, gosh, so, the, the Stanley Parable, I mean, it was a really good game. I will definitely be doing more of this, getting more endings and everything. So I hope you guys watch out for that, and hope you guys enjoy it. Thank you for watching. This is Potato Gamer Let's Plays, and I'm out.